Hey guys, can't believe it. We're actually doing another video. Um, we are a few months into the pandemic now. Man, our world has changed. But we've been plugging away here at JKR. We've fallen completely out of the habit of doing videos. So here we are. We're trying to restart, get going. There's so much fun things to share, so many really cool things. Um, so we're going to start out easy. We're going to show you guys a really cool clutch, a really awesome clown pied clutch. Um, and we're just going to hopefully get a good routine back, start doing some more videos on YouTube. But come along for the ride. Let's check it out and see what we have for tonight. All right, guys, this is it. This is the Orange Dream Yellow Belly Leopard Clown Pied Clutch. It is from a Super OD Yellow Belly Pied Hat Clown to a Leopard Yellow Belly Clown Hat Pied. So the great thing is because we use a Super OD, we know they're all ODs. Let's take a look at these. All right, so these are really cool. So again, we know all these are Orange Dreams, thankfully, because sometimes OD is really hard to tell in some of the combos, particularly like an Ike and Ivory of some sort. So we know they're all Orange Dreams. We know they're all at least double head clown pie. And then we got some great visuals here. So this is an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Clown Pied. And I love how much crazy pattern it has on it. Kind of a cross pattern there on the back of the head. Beautiful, so bright orange. This was one of my dream snakes. When I made the first Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pieds, I thought it actually looked like this. Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pied. I thought, man, I need a clown in that somehow. And then all these years later, here we are. This is, I think this is the fourth, fifth one I've made now. Just incredible. So, ODYB Clown Pied. ODYB Pied, 100% Het Clown. We got an Orange Dream Clown Het Pied. Gorgeous. A OD Yellow Belly Leopard Clown Het Pied. Awesome belly on that, awesome ringer. Really orange. Another Clown Pied. So this one is Leopard Orange Dream. So look at the difference here between this one. See all the jagged pattern from the Yellow Belly? See how the saddles on this one are real smooth by comparison. That's how you tell the yellow belly in it. The leopard reduces all that head pattern way down. It actually makes the snake a higher white snake, typically, but not always. Then we have an ivory. And the cool thing is, since we used a Super OD, we know that's OD ivory and double head clown pied. And this is the coolest one. I kind of saved it for last. Even though it's not a pied, this is a snake that I've really looked forward to making for a long time because I'd never even made an ivory clown of any type. Yeah, I figured it'd be fairly white, but this is leopard in it. So a leopard ivory pied, um, adds all this pattern. Leopard and ivory is such a, an amazing, amazing interaction. Crazy how it turns out. Um, so a leopard ivory clown, and we know that it's OD as well. So OD leopard ivory clown, 100% head pied. What a beautiful animal. What a unique pattern to that. So cool. Really happy with this clutch. Actually, three or four of these are already spoken for. A couple of them are going to Europe. Um, really, really amazing animals. Love results like these. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple that hatched a few months ago and we hadn't shown them on video yet, so they're a little bit bigger. This from the same project, actually. We have a, this is some shed, but. This is a, this is a super, Super OD YB Clown Pied. So Super Orange Dream Yellow Belly Clown Pied. And look at that crazy, crazy pattern. It's so bright and so clean. It started to get a little bit of dirtiness in the back with age, like so many combos do, but it is still amazingly bright, amazingly well aged. And this has a really cool, I don't know if you call that a paradox spot, but a really cool spot there on the animal that uh, gives it a, a little unique kind of crazy look. So this one hatched, and it's a girl, and I was disappointed because, man, I wanted a boy of this. But then we also hatched in the same clutch a really, really cool boy. So this one ended up being a boy. And this is an Orange Dream Ivory Clown Pied. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and answer the questions that are going to be in the comments. How do we know it is a clown? How do we know it's a pied? Well, first of all, the pattern is starting to fade, but this pattern is much more obvious. It has a completely white body, but then these cream-colored saddles that I don't know if the camera can really pick them up. 
anymore. They're really, you see how the head's a different color than the rest of the body because it's got the pied head. The pied head is not, is not white. Um, we know it's, so that's how we know it is a pied. Okay, we know it's a clown because it still has a clown head pattern and ivory pied has a regular um, ball python head. This has a clown head pattern mixed in there. And then we know it's an orange dream because its dad was a super orange dream. So it has to be at least orange dream. Its mom was orange dream as well. So this is a OD ivory clown pied and a 50% chance that it's super OD ivory clown pied and a boy. So even though this animal is not as crazy to look at as some of the bright orange clown pieds, it has all the genes and actually can throw um, better odds of genetics than some of those other ones. Really cool, really happy to be growing him up. All right, so this is Fire Spot Nose Desert Ghost. I think I've shown this on video before. This girl is so pretty. And we happen to have her on eggs today, which is so exciting. Looks like a good sized clutch. Yeah. And she was bred, let's see here, to Inchy, Inchy Cypress Het DG. So, really cool. Really looking forward to seeing some Spot Nose. Cypress, um, Fire, and she, DG, yeah, DGs. Um, she's paused that hypo too, but we're not gonna prove that on this clutch. Anyhow, another really awesome clutch, excited to set it up. Okay, so one of the big reasons I'm doing this video is because my sister Maddie is back visiting from college. You guys remember her from last year. She had a couple of funny videos, which some of you loved and some of you hated. It's true. She's funny. Um, so we're here, we're in the hatchling area. I want to show you guys real fast. Because of you awesome people, this is how many hatchlings we have. Remember last time we did the video, this was completely full of babies. Now we're down to this one little section right here. And right here behind Maddie, we have these are just the 2020s. You, you guys have been awesome, incredible customers. So we were just looking at these with Maddie, and she found one she has in her hand. Yes. Do you remember what it is? I know you liked how it looked. Yes, yeah, so this is? is a Coral Glow Chocolate Clown. And um, he doesn't know it yet, but he wants to come and live with me. Looks like he's uh, being kind of nervous about you what? there. No. Yeah, so I just, I love his coloring. He's really pretty. You can see he's starting to get some little um, spots come in, which Justin told me is called banana -ing. Banana. <laughs> banana. Nanny is his own morph. Banana is his own morph. Yeah. Who, who thinks that we need to teach Maddie the morphs? In yeah, comment I, below. I don't know anything. All right, so this is a cor Coral Glow chocolate. So banana and Coral Glow are the same. And so, but, but they're named that because first of all, they're kind of the color of banana, but then they get the black spots. They ripen, right, with age. So that one's got a few few spots. But you see how melted that pattern is? It melts in your hand. That's the, uh, that's the chocolate. We pulled out a couple regular chocolate clowns here. So these just hatched. We actually have, and it'll be on a next, one of the next few videos, a big announcement about chocolates. Look at that. Chocolates made this big, thick, black stripe down the back of it and a real dark overall look. It's such a great contrast. I love this. I love this project, the Chocolate Clown Project, so much. Um, but we made a big discovery about it um, in the first few clutches of this season, and we get to share that with you here shortly. But really cool. Let's see, what, let's see if this translates Oops. to the Coral Glow. That red blushing, that's super cool. All right, we'll leave you alone. Anyhow guys, so Maddie's big reason why we're doing the video because we wanted to get her on a video before she left and uh, she keeps telling me that I'm slacking and I need to get more videos out. So here we are doing this and you can thank her.
check this out guys, we have twin Ultra Mel Pipe. Super cool. I love the purple on the Ultra Mel's. But, so the best make of the clutch would have been the Ultra Mel Pipe we are going for, and we you get two of them in the same make. They're teeny tiny. Let me find out how much of these weigh. But man, they're beautiful. Ultra Mel's is a great morph. Of course, Pied. Love how that turned out. You gotta wait. All right, so the first one. I think it's probably the bigger one of the two right there. 25 grams. Tiny. I think the smallest I've ever hashed was 12 grams, and it didn't make a 20. Teeny guy, a little tongue. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Just a short video this week, but really appreciate every one of you. Hope we get back in the swing of things here. As we get into the hatching season, we're really excited about the incubator's absolutely slam full. Super excited about it. So until next time, like and subscribe, and we'll keep them coming.